everyone welcome to this to the scope and i hope you all are doing good uh, all right so the schedule for amr exam has always been a subject of anticipation and speculation in 2023 we observed some deviations from the usual and 2024 promises its own set of expectations and predictions many of you have pondered the possibility of amr aligning with the tolc medical exam in terms of frequency but to clarify it's highly unlikely for IMAT to follow the biannual format of TOLC medical exams. But you never know because sometimes they announce things very late. So the expectation remains that IMAT 2024 will continue around its traditional window of September to October. And it's highly speculated that IMAT might revert to more accepted window, placing the exam in September 2024. Luckily for us, while we still don't have the syllabus of IMAT 2024, we can absolutely rely on the syllabus of 2023, as it's unlikely to change considering how big the recent changes were. While we can make educated guess based on the past, it's imperative to remember that changes can still occur. Uh, the dates could be adjusted earlier. However, any significant change would typically be communicated by the organizing body at least six to seven months in advance. Therefore, it's crucial for IMAT aspirants to stay vigilant, frequently check official announcements, and remain adaptable in their preparation. All right, so the key to ACE IMAT not only lies in understanding the content, but also in adapting the right study strategies and using the best resources available. Although a majority of the syllabus remains intact, but in 2023, there was a notable change in the logic section and in math section in terms of difficulty. Even with these changes, your old study materials are still valuable. The skills required for text comprehension haven't changed drastically. Understanding context, drawing conclusion, and breaking down passages are skills which you have already honed. And if you are willing to take your preparation up a notch, consider BMAT Section 1 practice questions, especially focus on text comprehension. When you are preparing for competitive exams like the IMAT, it's crucial to use the right study material to ensure that you are well prepared for the exam. So let's dive right in. First up, we have biology. For biology, your primary source, I recommend diving into the depths of Pearson biology. And then after your first revision, you may incorporate the other resources such as Cambridge AS level and A levels biology that offers a more advanced understanding of the subject matter. And again, keep in mind that it can be used after the first revision of the Pearson biology. Moving on to chemistry, I recommend using Pearson's chemistry for a solid foundation and then you may use Cambridge IGCSE chemistry as an additional supplement as it can serve excellence to your understanding of chemical reactions and principles. Then we have maths and physics and this section of the IMAT exam is becoming increasingly challenging every year and it carries more weightage on the exam than ever before. And it's essential for you to dedicate adequate time and resources to study for this section in order to succeed the IMAT exam. While there are many books available, I'll recommend you to start your preparation with maths for dummies and for physics you may use A-levels physics book. These books provide a clear and concise introduction to the essential concepts and principles and these are an excellent resource for those who are just beginning their studies from IMAT exam. Additionally, you may use Khan Academy's Maths and Physics Learning section. That's an excellent resource as well that can help you in learning and practicing questions. For logical reasoning and general knowledge, I do not recommend you to go with the comprehensive books. Rather, just understand the pattern and learn the key and uh, effective methods to approach such questions and then straight away dive in practicing questions because the more you practice the affected it would be and for general knowledge especially I have made a video uh, that how can you approach this part and I'll put the link in the description of the video and uh, all the books that I have recommended in this video you can find them on my Instagram account the link of the a uh, drive containing all these PDFs including past papers and 2023 syllabus and practice books along with the syllabus which I have uh, along with the study planner which I have just prepared for 2024 aspirants. Uh, it's posted in the bio of my Instagram account and the Instagram is mentioned in the description so you can easily navigate to that. All right now let's talk about the study planner. This IMAT study planner spans around 5.5 months, uh, five and a half months. 
This schedule emphasizes dedicated study days from Monday to Friday with weekends allocated for the review and rest. Or you may use these days as a supplement for your practice and to cop up with any pending tasks. And feel free to adjust the study planner according to your needs as each student has their own effective learning style. So this is how your study planner looks, mentioning the specific day and the top uh, topic which you will study that day. And I'll definitely put this study planner's link in the description so you can get access to that. And that's all for today. Uh, if you have any queries or any topic you want me to cover, just drop them in the comment section and I'll try to respond to that as soon as possible. Till the next video, take care of yourselves and thanks for watching. Thank you.